Now, what I wanted to say, uh, Irene. Did you say it? <laughs> Give me a break, huh? The woman just crossed over the threshold here. How <laughs> would I? Don't breathe on me. How can't you stand over there? <laughs> Now, what I mean to say, Irene, is, uh, I, I'm sorry about last night, and can't we be what we were before? Gee, I was hoping we could be friends. <laughs> hey, I went, went out, and I sprung a dollar sixty-eight a pound for shoulder of lamb. You can't get friendlier than that, Irene. Now, what do you say, friends? Archie, I know it's not easy for you to apologize, but I'm glad you did. Yeah, yeah, because, I mean, after all, we work together. You know, it don't do you no good to have a mortal enemy down at work. <laughs> and if you was to bring a, a drill home to do some work at your house there, or, well, I mean, I wouldn't say nothing about it, and I figure you wouldn't do the same for me there, I mean. I mean, after all, what's wrong with it? What is there to snitch about? It is wrong. Why can't you admit it? I admitted I was wrong for cheating the phone company. Yeah, and I was wrong for bringing home those cosmetics. Let's have an end to this whole thing now. I say case closed. But Arch, you don't understand what we're trying to talk about Will here. Will you shut up? But maybe I can explain Will you shut... I mean, why, Bart? <laughs> Archie, just look at it. In, in terms of dollars and cents, we, we have 233 employees down at the plant. Now, now look, supposing only half of them took... Uh, a dollar's worth of supplies every week. That'd be half a two and kind of 33 well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait a minute there, yeah, right, Irene. Mean, there's something there I don't understand. What don't you understand? Hey, hey. I don't understand what you're doing with a company pen. What? <laughs> it says there, Pendergast Tool and Die Company. How long you been stealing pens, I mean? <laughs> I didn't steal that. Oh, 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 then how come you got that? I gave it to her. You got a draw full of it. Babyface Bunker strikes again. <laughs> you want me to take back that apology, Irene? Did you apologize anyway? Of course, the women nagged me. I think you only made up with me because you were afraid I'd tell the boss about the drill. So what? I'm feeding you lamb, ain't I? Yeah. <laughs> we're all friends now. Let's all sit down and eat. Come on, let's eat. Edith, I'm not sure I can stay. Why can't you? Just put your keister in a chair and shut your mouth. If I'm leaving before I say something, I'm sorry. No, no, I mean, please don't go. Edith, forgive me. I just can't stay. This is a great place to eat if you're trying to lose weight. <laughs> Well, you did it again. N now she may never come back again. You made her even madder than she was last night. Well, I think I, I know what I better do. Oh, what? Are you going to make up with Irene? No, I'm going to get rid of the drill. I'm going to put it in my lunchbox so I remember first thing Monday morning. I'm going to get up early, bring it back. No time even for breakfast there, Edith. Show you the kind of guy I am. I'm gonna have that drill back on the tool shop before anybody gets there. I don't want the company that's been good to me for many, many years to worry for one moment about a stolen drill I got here. <laughs> Ma, when Archie goes into all that double talk, do you ever buy that? I don't have to buy it. It's free. <laughs> That's the point. My hunk of plywood is ripped off. <laughs> what kind of a neighborhood is this got to be around here? Hey, all he is. I didn't think I had to keep a wild dog to protect one hunk of plywood. <laughs> yes, I'm the only honest guy left on the whole block. I watch my reward for that. <laughs> <laughs> 